Does Queen Elizabeth approve of Meghan Markle's birth plan? With Meghan Markle set to give birth just about any day now, the anticipation is building. Rumors are running wild over when the baby will arrive, and what will happen when Meghan actually goes into labor. The world saw Prince William and Kate Middleton debut two newborn princes and one princess on the steps of the Lindo wing while the flashbulbs went off by the hundreds. Meghan and Prince Harry have revealed that they have a different birth plan in mind. Which raises an important question, does Queen Elizabeth approve? What was originally expected? Back when Meghan and Harry announced that they were expecting their first child, it was thought that Meghan would follow in her sister-in-law's footsteps. We thought that we'd see the Duke and Duchess of Sussex emerge from Street Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London, holding a precious bundle, while the entire world watched. Eventually. It was announced that Meghan would not deliver baby Sussex at the same hospital as Kate and Princess Diana did, and that we would not meet baby Sussex in the same way as the Cambridge children. Speculations surrounding baby Sussex. Over the months, we have heard various rumors. Some news outlets stated that Meghan had not yet chosen a hospital. Others even thought that she'd be traveling to the United States to deliver the baby in her home state of California. When we discovered that Meghan and Harry were moving to Windsor, England, many royal fans believed that baby Sussex would be making his or her debut at Frimley Park Hospital, not far from the couple's new home at Frogmore Cottage. Now. It has been announced that Meghan is actually planning a home birth. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry won't announce the birth for a few days. With all three of William and Kate's children, we immediately knew when the birth occurred. It was even announced when Kate was in the early stages of labor and had been admitted to the hospital. This allowed for fans and photographers to line up in the streets outside the Lindo wing, waiting for the announcement that would come soon after the baby's arrival. It was then only a few hours later that we saw the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge leaving with their newborn. Meghan and Harry have decided not to go this route. Instead, they will keep the news private for a few days. What can we expect from the baby Sussex announcement? At this point in time, we are not sure exactly when the announcement will come. We do know that Doria Ragland, Meghan's mother, is traveling to England to be with her daughter at this important time. The news may be announced a couple of days after the birth, or Meghan and Harry could possibly choose to wait even longer before telling the world. Does the Queen approve of Meghan Markle's birth plan? Fans can bet that she does. We believe Queen Elizabeth actually prefers that Meghan and Harry keep the birth private at first. This is a very personal time for the royal family and it will not only give Meghan a chance to rest while she and Harry enjoy the first few days of parenthood, but it will also give the entire royal family a chance to celebrate privately. Many years ago, this was the exact birth plan that the Queen herself followed. So she is likely happy Meghan has decided to do the same. Although the world can't wait to catch a glimpse of the new baby, we understand that the royal couple would like to have a private experience.